If we're active in the political process, please do that. It can be difficult to argue for marijuana because people think of it as whether people are going to smoke a little bit of pot for recreation. And they think that's all the importance that this issue has. You couldn't be further from the truth. A cop was killed and four cops injured, breaking down the door of a, of a drug user just this week in New Hampshire. People die. And it's not the drugs that are killing them mostly. It's certainly not pot killing them. It's drug laws that kill. Yeah! <laughs> just as America was overrun, by violence during the first prohibition. So badly that the government had to actually do something they almost never do and take a step backward from the pursuit of more and more power when they repealed prohibition. Prohibition of drugs has had the same effect, but we're just desensitized to it now. If you're convicted of robbery or of rape, or a murder in the United States, when you get out of prison, you can still get financial aid. If you're convicted of smoking pot, you can't. Why? Why? Could it be that when they're saying that drugs lead to economic failure, what's really going on is that drug laws lead to economic failure, drug tests, lead to economic failure. Imprisonment for use of drugs leads to economic failure. It impacts families. It impacts family. You have families taken, you have children taken from their families because the family smoked pot. That is just straight up wrong.
Are you ready to take the step? Yeah! Well, yeah, let's take the step! Are we storming the building? We're storming the building! Storm the building! Storm the building! Come in, everybody. Yeah, let's gather together.
I'm the stuff in
excited that, uh, yes, yes, we are I think it. So everyone knows a way in a manger. This is number one, a lay of Ansinger. Again, thanks for coming in and being part of the Shire Choir today. All this prohibition for Ansinger's 
on. It may be a failure, but I need my job. He didn't take long to come up with a plan to stir up a frenzy for something to end. Amendments won't matter, these new policies. He said only burden the blacks and Chinese. The congressman fell for his trite song and dance, and now all the excess of intoxicants. The state never stagnates, its true health is war. These laws grew to target the young and the poor. The government now deems us all enemies, which sanctions all efforts to kill agencies. Great job. <laughs> Next up, number two, Violent Blight. Violent Blight. trial 
And what happens when you, they take something to trial is they actually have to prove their case, which a lot of times they fuck up and they make a lot of mistakes. And you, sometimes they don't even really have a case and end up dropping the charges right before trial. Well, he went to trial and they had to bring out the undercover agents that they used to, uh, to bust him. So it was great. I mean, we had we, a whole courtroom full of people getting to see undercover cops on the stand. And it resulted in uh, one person being saved from an undercover that was trying to sting him down the line. So it's all because uh, Weta Claus went to court instead of taking the plea deal. And he ended up uh, being convicted, unfortunately, but not of the felony charges that were originally against him. The jury actually used some level of jury nullification and didn't convict him of that charge. So it ended up working out okay. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, so again, you can learn more over at nhjury.com. The URL is down there at the bottom about jury nullification. It's something you want to tell your friends and family members about. So, to the tune of Here Comes Santa Claus, number five. Yes. Hands up, we the claws. Hands up, we the claws. There's no criminal here. Keep your some boxes.
Sorry. Good dog.